Shalom. Call hello, la Yahweh, but Hashem Yahweh Shah, which means all praises to Yahweh, which is the true name of the Heavenly Father, who you people, Salaki, who you people ignorantly call God, by Hashem, in the name of Yahweh Shah, which is the name of the only begotten Son, who you people ignorantly call Jesus Christ. Those are the true names of Heavenly Father and the Son. Plus, I want to give a shout out to the Aquaman that's pushing. And spreading this word throughout the four corners of the earth, who's also lifting the names Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh which you know, also to the confusion of faced brothers and sisters, whose bloodline traces back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, our forefathers. Same to if your seed line does trace back to one of these tribes through the man, and if your spirit bear witness with this word and this truth, and you can receive it. To the confusion of faced brothers and sisters out there, you are Israelites, though, you know, if these do a if these do apply. Though you may look like one of the other nations, the heathen nations, you scattered amongst. To the uh, few Aquaf, which is you sisters once again that do listen, learn, Shalom. To the elect of the nation Israel, if you may be scattered throughout the four corners of the earth, who this word is going out to, Shalom to you as well. To you so called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, you combine, consist, and make up the 12 tribes of Israel. You are the Hebrew Israelites. The uh, chosen people of the Most High Yahweh and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shah. And, um, I got an article right here. It says, oh, I had it. Hold on. So lucky. I had it. It was just on the screen. You know, they took it. Floyd, it was on Floyd Mayweather. Wow, they took it off. Uh, I just look it up. There it is. All right, this is an article that I just had. This was uh published yesterday or today. Okay, it says Floyd, Floyd's running out of money. Mayweather is begging to fight. Kahib says our UFC star manager. Okay, and this man, okay, he's actually considered one of the most wealthiest men when it comes to the sports industry. Okay, it says Ali. Abdel Ali Abdallah Zid, manager for UFC lightweight champion Kahib Kahib Nur these Russian names, man. Nur Magomedov Nur Magomedov says that Floyd Mayweather Jr. continues to seek out a boxing match with the Russian superstar because he's running out of money. Mayweather hasn't competed in a sanctioned boxing match since his 10th round stoppage of Conor McGregor two years ago. It has long been rumored to be open to another boxing versus MMA bout, this time with Norma, 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 okay? The boxer was rumored to have earned north of $100 million um, for his work in the ring on that balmy night in Las Vegas a couple of summers ago. And reports suggest that another payday of that magnitude tempt him out of another retirement. Nomad Namagan Namak Gomadov's controversial manager Ali Abdelaziv told celebrity gossip outlet TMZ that the boxing legend is desperate to face this man. To face this man. Floyd Mayweather to this day keeps back to fight Kahib, if that's his name, whatever. Begging, he said, Floyd's running out of money. I'm telling you, people are reaching out to me every week about Floyd to Khabib. But at the end of the day, we're not interested for now. Okay? 
Khabib's fight with McGregor last year was by far the highest earning bout of his career, and since the, that contest, the Russian has openly flirted with the idea of super fights with the likes of Mayweather and former UFC champion George S. Um, Pierre. However, the suspension levied against him for his part in UFC 229 post-fight brawl with McGregor's team meant that he was ineligible to compete until this September's upcoming title defense against Dustin Poirier and Ab Abu Dhabi. Okay, the Habi, whatever it is, it's like I don't care. But um, that's the point, man. Okay, so you have Floyd Mayweather, the the world's. Let me look Floyd Mayweather up real quick. Hold on. It's right there too. So we go in this bio. Hold on. Yeah, okay. Mayweather is one of the most lucrative pay-per-view attractions of all time in any sports. He topped the Forbes and Sports Illustrated list of the 50 highest paid athletes of 2012 and 2013. And the Forbes list again in both 2014 and 2015 listed him as the highest paid athlete in the world. So my mistake. In 2006, he found his own boxing promotional firm, Mayweather Promotions, after leaving Bob Arum's top rank. Mayweather has generated approximately 23.8 million pay-per-view buys and $1.667 billion in revenue throughout his career. So this is this how much man this man was making. To pass in the likes of former top pay-per-view attractions, including Mike Tyson, Evander Holyfield, Lennox Lewis, Oscar De La, De La Hoya, and Manny Pacquiao. So this man is considered one of the highest paying uh people in the world, man. Well, not, you know, not compared to these 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 uh elites, okay, Esau. Okay. But uh let's get the scriptures. It shows you, man. Okay. Jake cannot escape, okay, these curses. Okay? No matter how big you are in Esau society, you will not escape these curses. This uh Deuteronomy twenty eight and fifteen, but it shall come to pass if thou will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy power to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Okay? And one of them was the seventeenth verse. Curse shall be thy basket and thy store, man, your savings, man. Okay? That's okay, one of the curses. That like when when Jake Okay, for instance, in the society, get money, okay, they what, when they get their paycheck, what, bills come in, you gotta pay this bill, you gotta pay that bill, okay, this gotta be taken care of, and by the time Jake get done with that, Jake is you Israelites, right, Jake broke, and that's what it is here, and with these celebrities, okay, they, uh, once they finally, okay, get a taste of what, uh, this money's like, they go blow it on all these things, especially Floyd Mayweather. Floyd Mayweather is infamous for that, okay? Floyd Mayweather, he likes to, you know, flaunt his money, talk about how much he got, okay? And he's and deep down, you know that man's miserable, okay? This was the point. This is Deuteronomy 28 and 48. Moreover, all these curses shall come upon thee and shall pursue thee. And overtake thee till thou be destroyed, because thou hast not hearkened unto the voice of the Lord thy power to keep his commandments and his statutes which he command thee. And they shall be upon thee for a sign and for a wonder and upon thy seed forever. Okay? Because thou servest not the Lord thy power with joyfulness and with gladness of heart for the abundance of all things. Okay? So these, okay, will be, a, these curses will be upon us forever until Yahweh Bashim El Shah, okay, take it off us. Because it says, tells you in Baruch, okay, that he that sent these plagues among you is the only one that could take them off, you know, quickly paraphrasing it, okay? And that's what our people, okay, they don't want to, uh, 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 they don't understand that no matter how high you get, okay, no matter how, uh, far you get up, these curses will still follow you. They will follow you, man. It's like that cloud, that rain cloud that follows you. No matter where you go, it's over top of you, okay? Same thing with these curses, man, Okay? These 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 so-called celebrities, okay? They uh 
don't uh 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 seem to get that. Okay. First Timothy. I started uh the uh first Timothy six and seven. For we brought nothing into this world, and it is certain we can carry nothing out of it, right? Because who world is this? This is the Esau Eden, the so-called white man's world, right? And we ain't bring nothing in this world. We came over here on cargo slave ships, man. We came over here in captivity. Okay, so we brought nothing here. Okay? And when this place get destroyed, all these riches, all the gold, all the all everything, everything that's about this place is gonna be destroyed and it's not going into the kingdom of heaven. Which the kingdom of heaven is for you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. The true Israelites, okay, and confusing the faces, starting with the elect of them. Alright? The ninth verse. But they which they that be rich will fall into in temptation, and they snare and into many foolish and hurtful lusts, which drown men in destruction and perdition. And that's what happened to uh Floyd Mayweather. There's a whole bunch of examples of these celebrities of our people that's been that was at an all-time high. They was at their prime. And now when you look at them, they they broke, man. They don't have no money left, man. Okay? And it tells you for the love of money is the actually, real quick. This will end up happening to him. Just like this man, Floyd. How you go from being, okay, the one of the most uh uh paid, okay. Uh, sportsmen in the industry to being broke that fast is because the curses, man. It shows you that you can't escape the curses. You look at Floyd Mayweather and think you got away with it, man. It don't work like that when it comes to your about Shimmy Oshaw. This hair guy, okay, one in five I started. Now, therefore, thus said the Lord of hosts, consider your ways. Ye have so much and bring in little. Ye eat, but ye have not enough. Ye drink, but ye are not filled with drink. Ye have clothed you. Ye clothed you. But ye are not warm. There is none warm. And he that earned the wages, earned the wages to put in the bag with holes, man. Okay? And that's what happened to Floyd, man. All that money he was making. Now you have a bag of holes, man. Now this man is desperate, okay, to fight, okay, this Russian Uf, uh, UFC fighter. And this turned out it's not going to happen, man. Okay? And the Lord is about to bring judgment, okay, upon the nation of Israel, starting with you so-called celebrities. You know, the... uh. One boxing dude, you know, I don't, I didn't uh, really know him, but uh, his name was uh, Sweet Pea Pernell Whitaker, okay? He was one considered one of the greatest boxers as well. The Lord judged him, okay? This is uh, 1 Timothy 6 and 10. For the love of money is the root of all evil, which while some coveted after, they had erred from the faith and pierced themselves through with many sorrows, just like this man did, man. Now watch, you're going to see this man... As if, if nothing is solved, this man going to completely, okay, fall through, man. And then you and, and then it'd be a chance you won't even hear about them. Because celebrities that you once heard about them and they went broke and you don't hear nothing about them no more. Okay? Now he's got many sorrows, man. Okay? And plus, what? He don't have faith. You how about Shimei was shy? Okay? Ain't dealing with, uh, with them, man. And, and plus... I believe Floyd Mayweather, okay, knows that he's an Israelite, okay? This is Luke. I started, uh... Luke 12 and 15, and he said unto them, Take heed and beware of covetousness, for a man's life consisted not in the abundance of the things which he possesseth. And that's what Floyd's all about. Floyd, okay, he'll tell you, just stunt all his money. I forgot, it was something he said. Uh, he just, he, he, he basically was boasting about how, I forgot, I don't want to, you know, I forgot what it was, how he, uh, he bought, what was it, six Lamborghinis? I could be wrong, some of you know what I'm talking about. He boss, boasted about that. Something, it was something around that. Can't remember, but you know. Okay? Scripture say it, right? And he spake a parable, this 16th verse. And he spake a parable unto them, saying, The ground of a certain rich man brought forth plentiful. And he had, and he thought within himself, saying, What shall I do? Because I have no room 
where to bestow my fruits. And he said, this will I do. I will pull down my barns and build greater. And then will I sit to bestow all my fruits and my goods. And I will say to my soul, thou hast much goods laid up for many years. Take thine ease, eat, drink, and be merry. But Yahweh said unto him, thou fool, this night thy soul shall, soul shall be required of thee. Then who shall those things be which thou hast provided? Okay? So he that laid, laid up treasure for himself is not rich toward Yahweh. And Floyd and these other celebrities, that's Jake celebrities that you see in this society, your Jay-Z's, your Beyonce's, okay? Your, um, your, uh, 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 Lil Uzi verse, all of them, man. They're not rich towards Yahweh, man, okay? They're not rich. They're covetous in that, man, okay? They they got their eyes focused on these, these carnal things that uh, Esau gave them, man, that they sold out, actually, to give Esau, man, okay? They're not rich towards Yahweh. They don't have faith, okay? They don't have, okay, covering from Yahweh by Hashem Yahushua. They just out there, man, okay? Knowing that this destruction is about to come and overtake them like a thief in the night, man, okay? So they're not rich, okay, towards Yahweh by Hashem Yahushua, okay? This is not our rest, man. Okay? This is back in 1 Timothy 6. And, uh, 17. I started 17. It says, Charge them that are rich in this world. Right? They that be be not high minded that they be not high minded nor trust in uncertain riches, and that's what uh uh two thirds of our people trust in. They trust in uncertain riches, man. They don't trust in okay true riches because it tells you for the things which are seen are temporal, but the things which are not seen are eternal. But two thirds of our people they don't they don't they lack spiritual spirituality on this side, and they don't believe okay. So they trust in the temporal okay. And you know, the Lord might, if you a man of the Lord, the Lord might throw you a few goodies, but we don't put our trust into it, okay? We don't lay our eggs in this basket, because this basket is going to be destroyed, okay? Let me read it again. 1 Timothy 6 and 17, charge them that are rich in this world, that they be not high-minded, nor trust in uncertain riches, but in living, but in the living power, okay? Who giveth us richly all things to enjoy, Okay? They that do good, they that be rich in good works, ready to distribute, willing to communicate, okay? Laying up in store for themselves a good foundation against the time to come that they may lay hold on eternal life, man, okay? This is the true riches, man, okay? This knowledge, okay? Wisdom and understanding, okay? Because for one, it tells you in uh, 2nd Ezra, the 16th chapter, the 48th verse on down, how Esau's going to come down, okay, sparing none, okay, casting people out their houses and, and uh, taking their goods, man. So all this stuff you got, Esau is going to take it, man, as he's trying to kill a lot of you jakes, man, okay. And we're laying, okay, uh, 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 the men of the Lord are going to lay up their treasures, okay, their spiritual treasures, which is going to manifest for the times that we're coming into, okay, and, and, and after, man. It's in Jacob's trouble, all we're going into the kingdom, man. Okay? We're rich towards you, Howard. Just doing this work, following, okay, trying your best to walk, okay? Walk a straight line until our uh until your how about Shimon Sha comes, man. Cause it tells you. Hold on. Let me see. Okay. This is Proverbs 3 and 13. Happy is the man that findeth wisdom and the man that again understanding. For the merchandise of it is better 
than the merchandise of silver and the gain thereof that is that than fine gold, man. So this wisdom, okay, is better than the riches of this world, man. Cause it's gonna profit you in what? The time of Jacob's trouble. Plus, okay, the Lord is keeping track, okay, of your work, man. Okay, the Lord said our work is not in vain, man. Okay? So whatever you're doing on this side, the good works of the Lord you're doing on this side is gonna benefit you. And Jacob's trouble is gonna benefit you in what? The kingdom of heaven, man. Okay? That's why we forsaking what you see now, all these temporal things. This this life. Because it's not life. It's death. Okay? This third, the 15th verse. She is more precious than rubies. And all things thou can desire are not to be compared unto her. Okay? Length the days are in her right hand and in her left hand riches and honor. Her ways are pleasant tr pleasantness and all her paths are peace. She is a tree of life to them that lay hold upon her, and happy is everyone that retaineth her. Okay? So that's really the true riches, this knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. And it tells you also to seek. Okay? Let me get that. I'm going to end it with that. I'm going to end it with this. Hold on. Yeah, Luke. Twelve and thirteen. I could go up. It says, "But rather seek ye the kingdom of Yahweh, and all these things shall be added unto you." So every all your heart's desires on this side, how much more are we gonna get in our own kingdom? That's what the Lord's saying, right? Seek, okay. Wisdom and knowledge and all these things going to be added on you. The Lord might even give you a few uh, benefits on this side and, and going all the way into the kingdom, man. You know? So he's saying seek knowledge, wisdom, and understanding first, man. And all these things shall be added on to you. And we're going to get all these things in our kingdom, man. Okay? So, you know, I don't want to write this out. Lord Williams is edifying. Call her Lord, Lord, Yahweh, Shalom to the elect.